Hello and welcome to AC Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see about the various terms in the border plots, which are gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gain margin and phase margin. And also we'll be discussing the stability condition for a system to be stable as per the body plot drawing. Okay, so what is the stability condition we are looking for uh, a system to be stable in the body plot? We'll be seeing the stability condition also. So this is a very important video. So let us discuss about the gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gain margin and phase margin and also the stability conditions. So this is the part 3 of body plots. In this video we will be discussing about the gain margin, the phase margin, gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency. Actually most of these students has a lot of difficulty in understanding these concepts. Okay, so let us try to simplify these concepts in this video. Okay, so... I really hoping I'm really hoping that you understood the basics or you know the basics of body plots. So the body plots is having two plots, ma uh, the magnitude plot and the phase plot. Both this magnitude and phase we are plotting with respect to the angular frequency omega. And this plots we are drawing in a logarithmic graph or the log graph. And the omega we varies as 0.1 into 10 into 10 into 10 likewise so 0 0.1 1 10 100 likewise it goes on okay in the top portion we draw the magnitude plot in the bottom that is just below it we draw the phase plot the detailed procedure i've explained in this uh, part 2 video okay so this is a rough figure okay i've just drawn a rough figure for explaining the terms so consider that this is your initial line it is having a slope of 0 dB per decade you can see it clearly it is a parallel line so it is having a slope of 0 dB per decade only and then after that so this constitutes to omega equal to 1 see here yeah after that your line is going down means the slope is negative so if the slope is negative means it has to go down so like uh, it is going down and with some slope okay consider uh, it is minus 20 db or minus 40 likewise it is grow going so this is a rough figure so let's not go into the details so just know that this is the magnitude plot and this is a phase plot now you can see that at some point or at some frequency value here the gain plot so this is the gain or the magnitude what is gain gain means the change in magnitudes consider that your input signal is having a magnitude of a your output signal is having a magnitude of a dash then the ratio of a dash by a we call it as gain that is it is the ratio of the magnitudes of inputs input to output okay so that is gain so gain is nothing but it is representing a change in magnitude or variation in magnitude okay so the gain we have to plot or we have to mark in the magnitude plot if you don't know the meaning of gain and if you don't know its connection with magnitude that's why i'm explaining okay so the gain we always mark in the magnitude plot and the phase is in the phase plot itself okay so here you can see at some frequency of omega this gain graph is crossing the 0 db reference so this is the 0 db reference this is 0 db so the 0 dB reference at some point the magnitude plot is crossing and that frequency of omega is WGC or gain cross over frequency. I hope it is clear. So after plotting your magnitude plot you observed that at point at one point it is crossing that is a gain plot is crossing the 0 db reference that point is called or that frequency is called the gain crossover frequency just like that in the phase plot you observe the phase plot is crossing the minus 180 degree so the phase we mark in degrees okay so the unit is degree so it is crossing the minus 180 degree reference line that frequency is called WPC which is the phase crossover frequency okay I'll write it here phase crossover 
frequency. Okay, so this is the phase crossover frequency and this is the gain crossover frequency. Okay, now extend this, this point upwards. Consider that you are getting a point here. Now while drawing, I have got the points actually almost just below. But uh, when drawing an actual figure or an actual while doing the problem, you won't get the graphs like this. Okay, this actually I have drawn a very rough figure. So I am telling you to extend this point. That is the point at which your face is crossing the reference line or the minus 180 degree line to upwards and make it touch the gain plot or the magnitude plot. Similarly, extend this point and make it touch the, the phase plot. Okay, I'll use a different color. That is better. So, this line we have got, we have got by extending the phase crossover frequency point. And this line we have got by extending the gain crossover frequency point or gain crossover point. Okay, now this portion, I'll remove this line. Okay, there is so much of drawings on the on the board. So let me just remove it. Okay, so this point we make it and touch the y axis, and this portion is called gain margin. Okay. I hope it is clear. So what we have done here is basically we have extended the point at which the phase is crossing over the zero de uh, sorry the minus one eighty degree reference, and we have extended extended the point upwards and make made it touch the magnitude plot, and we have got a point there. We extended that to the y-axis, and this much of portion is called the gain margin. And just like that, here we have extended the gain crossover point and made it may, uh, make it touch the phase plot, right? And this portion will extend in this much of portion is the phase margin. I hope it is clear. Okay, so all the basic terms I have marked in this diagram. Okay, so there are two frequencies. Gain crossover frequency is there, phase crossover frequency is there. And by extending it to the opposite plots, that is by extending this crossover point to the upper plot and this crossover point to this phase plot, we will get the margins, which is the gain margin here and the phase margin here. Okay, so that is all about the gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gain margin and the phase margin. Now let us talk about the stability conditions. That is the final thing, right? So we are actually drawing the body plots for uh, analyzing the stability of the system. So how to find it? What is the condition? So the stability of the system or for stable systems, the condition is WGC, that is the gain crossover frequency, WGC, this is the term I have used here. So, WGC is less than WPC, means gain crossover frequency will be less than the phase crossover frequency. Okay, then for unstable means the condition will not be satisfied. So, for unstable systems, WGC will be greater than WPC. Okay, so this is the condition after drawing the diagram. Take the values for WGC, that is gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency. If the phase crossover frequency is lesser than that of the gain crossover frequency, that is if uh, gain crossover frequency is lesser than the phase crossover frequency, it is stable. If it is unstable means the condition is reversed. Gain crossover is greater than phase crossover frequency. For marginally stable means it will be equal. Okay, these are the three conditions. Marginally stable means WGC equal to WPC. Okay, so the stability we actually analyze by finding the values for the
crossover frequencies. So there are two crossover frequencies, gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency. So we have to take it from the plots, from the gain plot or from the magnitude plot, you have to take the value of gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency, you have to take it from the phase plot and then compare it. If it is stable means the first condition. If it is not stable, second condition you have to look for. For marginally stable systems, this will be the condition. Okay. So, this completes the Bode plot structure. So, in the upcoming days, we will be doing the examples of Bode plots. So, in that, that is while doing the examples, you will get to know more clear picture about how to analyze the stability of the system, how to draw the magnitude and the phase plots and how to take out the frequencies and all. Okay. So, I am really hoping to, you understood the concepts of gain, free, gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency and gain margin and phase margin and also the stability conditions. So, if yes, please to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.